So you guys hear about this, uh, this thing, the big dick? The big dick? Why are you bleeping that? No, I'm just saying sick. And that's not a bad word. It's not like I'm saying dick. We didn't bleep that. I'm just saying sick. The big dick. The big sick. Stop fucking bleep. The big sick. didn't even bleep fucking. The big sick. <laughs> Welcome to Room 666. Today I will be reviewing The Big Sick, directed by Michael Showalter. It stars Kumel Nanjiani, Zoe Kazan, Ray Romano, and Holly Hunter. It's also written by Kumel Nanjiani's wife, Emily V. Gordon. Isn't that cute? The Big Sick is the true story about Kumel and his wife and the first year of their relationship and how they met and how they came to be. Uh, it also talks about uh, around the time that they first started dating, how she got the big sick and she ended up going into a coma. And so, you know, I don't know if it's because of him, but I know that she got the big sick and that put her into a coma. During that time, he does meet her parents and that factors into it a lot. <laughs> All right, let's talk about uh, Michael Showalter, the director. Let's talk about how big his sick is. Um, Michael Showalter, I think, was a good choice for this particular material. Uh, it's produced by Judd Apatow, and it's a good thing he didn't direct it, because we probably would have got uh, about an hour and a half too long of a movie where it's just his kids and his wife sitting at a dinner table improvising. So a good thing we didn't get that. We got Michael Showalter, and his movies have enough heart, and I think he's able to work good with actors and get real performances out of them. He's not a flashy director, but you know, he's good for something like this and he's able to do it well enough so that it's not for sentimentality and it's not cheesy. You know, the emotional parts really are earned and are good. And I think that has to do with Showalter. So, and also the script as well, but you know, Showalter's cool for this. You know, this movie has uh, some laughs, but it's not so funny that you end up laughing so much that your side burns. But I did laugh at Kumail's sideburns from when he was younger because they were ridiculous. Oh yeah. Thank you. Thanks everybody. That's right. The leading actor in this film is Kumail Nanjiani. And he basically plays himself. He's from Silicon Valley and he's a very funny stand-up comedian. I'm pretty sure you've seen him before. He's also in Portlandia. He's really funny in that. Uh, in this, he's good. Um, you know, he's basically playing himself, so it'd be kind of weird if he wasn't good. Uh, it's a very good role for him because it's, you know, it's his first big leading role in a big movie, I feel like. And, you know, he's also Pakistani. And that's pretty cool. You don't really see too many uh, Pakistani people in leading roles, especially in romantic comedies. Uh, so that's cool. And he does a very good job in it, you know. He really, uh, you know, he really shows his acting chops. You know what I'm saying? He's got big ass sideburns when he was younger. They show uh, a picture of it in there. Thank you. Thanks everybody. Oh, come on. Come on. Thanks. Zoe Kazan is in this one. That's right. And even though she hasn't been in much stuff, she's actually an actress that I've been excited to see in things. I really liked her in Ruby Sparks. And here she's very good. Uh, she brings a lot of charm and she's funny and likable in the role, but she doesn't really get to do much because she's basically in a coma for most of it. Zoe Kazan is the physical manifestation of the Smith song, Girlfriend in a Coma. I know, I know, it's serious. Here's a fun fact for you. Zoe Kazan, her grandfather, Elia Kazan, is the great director who's uh, directed such great acclaimed Academy Award winning films such as a sideburn named Desire, a sideburn in the grass, and the last sideburn. Thank you guys. You guys remember this Kamal had the stupid sideburns when he was yeah yeah we, yeah huh? yeah. You know we got um we got uh, legendary stand-up comic Ray Romano in this movie. That's right. Yeah, that's right. He uh, you know everyone loves Raymond, uh, but nobody loves Kamal's sideburns from when he was younger. They were long. They were stupid. They were ridiculous. Thank you everybody. Thank you, I appreciate it. My favorite part of this movie, the parents of Zoe Kazan, who were played by the world famous Italian actor, Ray Romano, and the great Holly Hunter. They both had a great dynamic together in the film. They're both very funny. 
Uh, they were both good in their scenes with everyone. They were had chemistry with all everyone in the film. And Ray Romano brought a little bit of sadness to his role, which I liked, you know. And Holly Hunter, she's always great in all her movies. One of the things that I had a problem with was that they had a storyline uh, where they kind of had a conflict, the mother and father, and the way that it gets resolved at the end is kind of just neatly wrapped up and quickly done because they don't they kind of forget about it and they makes it seem like the scene is just kind of really quick and I, I would have liked to see more of that. I also like that they didn't show too much of how they met and stuff. Uh, there is a story about that, but they don't really show a flashback or anything. Uh, and like I said, they're both really great in this. Um, the great Italian actor Ray Romano is just funny. He's hilarious. And then we all know Holly Hunter is a great actress. Uh, you know, for that, for those of you who didn't know, she's great in voice comedy as well. She uh, voiced uh, the mom in The Incredibles. And uh, for those of you who didn't know, uh, you know, Kamal used to have incredibly stupid sideburns. That's right. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Uh, you guys remember, he used to have them. If you look it up on YouTube, you see there's probably a picture of it around there. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. You know, one of the things this movie deals with a lot is Kumail's past when he was younger and his Pakistani roots. And, you know, that's fine. I really enjoyed that stuff. But one thing that I couldn't Pakistan was Kumail's sideburns when he was younger because they're ridiculous. You know, they're all long and they're stupid. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks a lot. All right, forgive me. I'm going to have to read these names uh, of the actors who play uh, Kumail's family. Uh, the actor who plays his father is Anupam Kier. The actress who plays his mother is Zeno Zenobia Shroff. And his brother is played by Adil Akhtar. I hope I got all those right. All three of the actors who played his family were all very funny in their roles. Uh, which was very surprising uh, because, you know, they were going up against uh, Kumel, who's a professional comedian. So, you know, he knows how to be funny. One of the big reasons I enjoyed all of the scenes with uh, Kumel's family was because they go into his culture and his religion and kind of the things that he had to face in terms of uh, family coming from Pakistan and coming to America, but still sort of uh, following their religion and still doing those things that, you know, us over here uh, in America don't really follow. Like, for instance, the arranged marriages is what we call them, but, you know, they're just marriages for them. And they still follow that practice when they come over here. And it, I really like that it showed that kind of conflict uh, between Kamal and his family because, you know, they really take that very seriously. And if you don't kind of follow that lifestyle, they'll, they'll disown you. And it was also done very uh, well. And it, there was also some very funny parts with that too. So that was cool. All those actors are really cool. And I hope to see more of them. I wish that the, you know, the people who uh, are his real parents would have told him not to have those fucking sideburns. Thanks guys. I don't know if that was really a joke. That was more of just me saying that he shouldn't have had those sideburns when he was younger. You guys remember him when he had him. Thank you. Thank you. You know, the, uh, the only uh, gripe I had with this movie was, you know, the length. And, you know, that's one of the gripes I have with uh, Kamel's sideburns. You know what I'm saying? He's only really long sideburns. You know what I mean? Because... All right, in conclusion, I would say I would wait till it comes out on Amazon Prime. Honestly, it's not something that you have to see on the big screen with a crowd. Uh, but at the same time, if you did see it, uh, if you did see the trailer and it looks interesting to you, go out and see it because I would say give your money to something like this. Uh, it's a pretty cool project. We do want to see more stories like this from different types of races and backgrounds of people. So that's cool. And, you know, if this gets money, maybe more of that stuff will get made. Uh, but honestly, like I said, I enjoyed it. It was good, but it wasn't something I would tell everyone to run out and see. You know, one thing you really can't tell from the trailers is the big sick is a real Pinocchio story. Uh, yeah, that's right. Every time uh, Kumail told a bad joke, his sideburns would grow. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>